Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel here. Um, today in this video, you're going to be seeing uh, us installing our two robots that we uh, purchased uh, uh, from another farmer. Um, these are two used A4 robots. Um, we purchased them in November, I believe. Uh, October or November, I can't remember. Um, so now we have the construction project has been uh, continually going on. Uh, we have the building up, the, the concrete poured, and and uh, now we're ready to install the robot. So one of the first things we have to do to get these robots in is uh, is get these uh, scales uh, set in here first. Uh, so we got to get them down, and that'll help us to uh, to roll the robots in over top. And uh, that way we don't fall in that hole there. So that's what we're doing right now, getting the scales in. And uh, now we're ready to install the robots. So uh, in this video today, you'll be seeing us uh, taking them out of uh, the storage barn where we had them um, throughout the winter here. Um, so we'll be putting a little caddy wheel on and kind of wheeling them out uh, of, the, of the little barn. And then we have a little jig or something like that, you'll call it, we'll put on top and uh, pick the robot up uh, with a skid loader. So once we get this jig on top of the robots, um, then we gotta slowly, slowly drive it back to where the where we're gonna install them. Um, driveway is not the smoothest but we try to not ruin things much um, patience is the best thing when you're doing a project like this and a little bit of communication to know what 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 to do so slow and steady the robots are not crazy heavy but they're just a little bit awkward um, so it's pretty important that we get the chains Kind of the right length so we're not uh, bending anything because uh, the robot arm will slide on that bar uh, or rail or whatever you want to call it and uh, we don't want to make no kinks or nothing there so so just come along and uh, and uh, there's a lot of different uh, clips uh, it took a little while for us to get them in um, a little bit of grunt work but uh, but we got them Alright, as you can see here, we have one robot set, and uh, we have a whole crowd of people that are we're all very excited we have one in, but we wish we had two. So, it's kind of a job to do, um, but now we have a plan for the next one. Huh, Tess? Mm -hmm. Slowly up. Go up, slowly. Alright, we're good. We have a lift up. Alright, you can 
see here we're moving the second robot back to the uh, new barn or the barn there where we're gonna put them in yeah my windshield's a little dirty but here we go You gotta go towards that gate and spin the back around. You gotta go towards that north south gate. <coughs> you gotta come forward a little bit. Send her on down. Yeah, we're hoping this one goes a little better than the first one. We've got these uh, wheels down here. We've got to try to get off. Once we get that off, we'll make a wheel, put pipes, and just just uh, roll it right in. So this is the second one. Well, all in a day's work, we got uh, both robots uh, sitting in their home. Uh, gonna be a lot of other stuff we need to get done yet but uh, this is kind of step one hopefully here soon we get uh, walls built around it and uh, get some uh, water over to here electric over to here and uh, so on so yes the project is moving along pretty good now that we got the robots all in place uh, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button and subscribe so you can uh, continue to watch the progress of our installation and and hopefully we'll get started up milking and oh maybe maybe two months here we'll see so